Hey guys, this is Rusty78609. Heads up for all you guys that have solar. Here's an easy way to determine your usage. And it works because I've been fooling with it for about an hour. And I finally got it all checked out. And I have to tell you, I'm very impressed because it gives me a lot of relief knowing how little I use in the way of amps. Okay. Anyway, what I've got plugged into it right now, this is the, it's called a kilowatt electricity usage monitor that's it right there you plug it into a, a wall outlet <clears throat> you plug this device into a wall outlet and then you plug in whatever you want to test in this case what i've got plugged in i've got a strip here that i've got my phone charger plugged into my google home device plugged into my 12 volt TV even though it's got a converter it'll run on 110 I've got it plugged in and this right here is for the this is the converter that converts the 110 to 12 volt to run my Dometic CF18 refrigerator or freezer it can be either one or not both at the same time and it is a it uses very little energy now let me show you how all this comes together right now you probably can't read that meter but it's right now I've got it on amps and it shows that with everything just plugged in even the Google Home device and all of it I'm using 0 0.19 amps or two tenths of, of an amp per hour so in 24 hours that would be about five amps at that usage right there now if I can I don't know if I can do this I'll plug my phone in. You see right there, it's 0 0.19, and now I'll plug my phone in to charge. Well, I say I'll chug, plug my phone in to charge on the other side, and we'll show you the change. Okay, see, and then now it jumps up to 0 0.24. So the charger uses 0 0.05 amps per hour. All right, that's what it's using currently. So we're up to 0 0.24. However, obviously I'm not going to be charging my phone 24 hours a day, and that's how much usage it is per hour. So right now, uh, with, with this unplugged, I'm using 2 tenths of an amp. So in 24 hours, I would use approximately uh, 5 amps, based on that right there. Okay, now... Let me turn the TV on. You'll see it change. See it jump up there now to 0 0.3937. Now it's at 0 0.40. So right now with the TV on, the Google Home device on, uh, we're using half, a little less than half of an amp per hour. So in, in 24 hours at that rate, we would use 12 amps. However, I'm only going to use the TV about three or four hours a day max, and uh, the Google Home device will be used as a speaker maybe four or five hours a day because I do stream Pandora uh, music during the day when I'm boondocking. But So what I've found for me is uh, my usage is as follows. If I use the TV as I do at home, the Google Home device as I do at home, the phone charger as I use, do at home, and the Dometic CF18 refrigerator slash freezer as I do at home, my maximum usage per day, maximum per day, is going to be about 12 amps per day. Okay? Now, with nothing on, with nothing on, the it uses about one-tenth of an amp of that what, what you call a ghost drain and what that is since I have an inverter plugged in converting the 110 to 12 volt for the refrigerator that's what that is okay that's my ghost drain so but be that as it may so that tells me that my max usage is going to be around 12 amps per day and that would mean that in a in in anywhere in the western part of the USA or even right here if I put my solar panels out, I've got two 60-watt solar panels. They are ZAMP portable panels. They fold out, and they'll produce anywhere from, well, in direct sunlight, 
in New Mexico last year, or excuse me, this past summer, I was getting about 8 amps per hour. Now, what that would tell me, if, I, if I'm not going to average that, but if I could average, say, 5 amps per hour, then I would need to charge my battery about 3 hours a day at 5 amps per hour to keep to be, to be breaking even approximately. I'd, I'd be a little ahead of the game, and that's good to know because uh, even if I have some overcast periods or whatever, uh, I've got enough overkill with my solar to keep me going with everything that I want to use. And that's very satisfying. Now my next trick is going to be to try this. Uh, I have here in my RV, I have a 110. That's a 110 volt only refrigerator. And I've got a 300 watt pure sine wave inverter, but I plan to use that inverter with this what I plan to do is just plug this into the inverter and I'm going to have my battery my AGM battery right down here and when I get ready to charge the battery I'll just run the solar cable right out through this window because the screen slides this way and you can just run the, the cable right out and put your panels anywhere you want to outside but I just plan to plug this in to my inverter and then that way everything is set up okay I can charge my phone I can watch television, I can stream music, and I don't have to plug or unplug anything, okay? Just plug this into the inverter. It's a 400-watt sine wave inverter, and we're good to go. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to get another inverter uh, for the, this refrigerator, the 110 only, and see if I can't run it off of the RV battery, which is a 75-amp-hour battery, and, and see if it will work also. I'm going to test it before I go in the summer, of, I mean in the spring, of course. But this is just to give you a heads up. Uh, if you need to, if you're thinking about solar, before you do it, spend the dollars. It's $22.88. This device right here is called a kilowatt. Here's the name of it right here. Kilowatt. And my, the one I got is a P4400. Uh, P4, P4400 kilowatt. And again, it's an electricity usage monitor, and I'm just going to leave mine plugged in. See, like right now, I've got, wow, let's see, I've got the Google Home device on, I've got my phone charging, I've got my 12-volt TV on, uh, I've got a ghost drain of about a tenth of an amp uh, that's uh, the charger for the converter for the uh, refrigerator, the Dometic refrigerator. And right now, with all of that on, I'm using 0 0.4 amps. For which is half an amp, a little less than half an amp per hour. And I could, if I did that, all of that for 24 hours, that's 12 amps, all right? And so we're, we're good. We're good. I've got, a, I've got plenty of flexibility. But here's a caution I'll tell you, too. It comes, the device comes, and this, this is on the screen, okay? And it reads out, it looks like it's reading out all eights, all right? And this little tab is stuck under here so you can't you don't really notice that that is supposed to be peeled off okay so when i got it and i plugged it in i thought well hell it's just reading all eights okay and i thought well, that's crazy so anyway i checked it again and again and again. i couldn't figure it out so i called customer to for support he said what's the problem i said man it just keeps reading out all eights he said well peel off the label apparently they've had this problem before <laughs> So anyway, but yeah, right now it's showing 0 0.41 amps, and I got to tell you, uh, that's with everything on TV. The little 12 volt TV's on. Of course, it's got a it, uh, it runs off 110. It's got an adapter that you just plug it in. My Google Home device. Uh, I've also got my of course my phone charger on, and what else? There's something. Oh yeah, the, of course the Dometic refrigerator's plugged in, but it's it's idling right now. I mean it's not. Uh, it's not drawing anything apparently and but when it cuts on just so you know if you wanted to get you a zamp or scratch me scratch scratch me scratch it is uh, if you wanted to get you a Dometic CF 18 refrigerator I can tell you right now that when it cuts on and it's running full speed it's drawing 0 0.75 amps per hour and it runs about it'll cut on depending on the outside or the surrounding temperature It'll run. It'll cut on an average of about two times to three times an hour, and it'll run for about five or six minutes. So my guesstimate is that the uh, solar or the the excuse me the Dometic 
refrigerator is going to use about, for me, about 7 amps per day to run the refrigerator for me. Or say 8 amps on the high side. 8 amps per day. So we're looking at, for my, my total usage, I uh, guesstimated, I think around 10 amps max per day in that range. Even if it was 12, we're still good. So anyway, you guys, if you're interested in solar and you want to know what your usage is, you can apply that device to each item and write down the numbers. It'll actually keep up with it for 24-hour period, so you'll know exactly. And then the next thing you got is an easy way to figure out what kind of solar you really need. You don't have, See, I, I, I was thinking about getting more solar, but I actually have plenty. You know? See, now right now, the ZAMP, uh, the, the, excuse me, not the ZAMP, the uh, Dometic refrigerator just cut on. And it's jumped up to 0.84 amps per hour now, okay? It just cut on. So it went from 0.4 to 0.8. So it's drawing about a little, little less than one half amp per hour when it's running. Because we were using, it was at 0.4 prior to the Dometic CF-18 cutting on. The Dometic CF-18 is now on and we're at, say, round numbers 0 0.8 so that when the when the Dometic refrigerator is running like it is right now it's drawing uh, about a half an amp per hour when it's running okay and it only runs about 20 percent of the time I'm just guessing that but approximately so anyway that gives you a good guideline for these products how much they use so you'll know but anyway having said that from Central Texas USA if you're interested in solar, then uh, use the link to my uh, for, to Amazon because I'm an Amazon affiliate, and I'll leave a link to Amazon products in the description. And if you want to go get you a kilowatt or a Zamp solar package or whatever you want to get, uh, if you use the link, I get a little commission. It doesn't cost you a dime, and so anyway, having said that, guys, thumbs up, carpe diem, adios, bye-bye, buy USA made, use the, use the Amazon link, and uh, keep your health. Adios, amigos, bye-bye.